Fortnite news. Ha! Mason Swine may take your blood, a limb, maybe even your dignity. But tonight, we take Rudhelm Castle! And if you want to live to kick your feet up on King Melric's supper table, you best heed my words! Listen up, peasants. Your basic attacks are slash, stab, and overhead. Slashes are easiest to land and good against multiple opponents while stabs have the greatest range and overheads deal the most damage. Crush these bastards! You can also combo your moves together by inputting the next move before the current one finishes to become a whirlwind of steel on the battlefield. Ah, glorious goal. Nothing's fairer. Torch all the puddles! You hit your opponent with your weapon, not your eyes, nimwit. When swinging, don't keep your crosshair on an opponent, but instead, turn your hips during the attack to land your strike as early as possible. Or turn away to throw off your opponent's timing. Yeah, but don't get caught looking like a fool trying to spin to win. Ugh, I've seen enough. Combining your footwork, strike selection, and dragging is key to mastering the blade. Sword combat is a dance of death, built on a back-and-forth flow known as initiative, which for the slow means timing advantage. When an attack lands, it will interrupt your opponent's strike, allowing you to press the attack, forcing your opponent to the defensive. <laughs> Sorry, just clearing up a blockage. Speaking of blocks... If your opponent strikes at you, parry their blow by aiming at it and then attack just after to perform a repost, rewarding you with a fast follow-up attack that also blocks incoming strikes for a time. You can now hold a parry, which rapidly drains stamina the longer you hold it. If you attempt to parry a strike with low stamina, you will be disarmed. Help me! Help me! Shields can also be held, but eventually they will break. A held parry can help you get out of a bad spot, but true excellence on the battlefield requires well-timed counters. A counter acts as a perfect parry and rewards the defending player by negating the stamina loss of blocking an incoming blow. To perform a counter, a player enters the defensive stance and then attacks from block with a strike that matches their opponent's incoming strike type. However, failing to match your opponent's strike will render you... Punished. Ah! A crafty opponent can faint by winding up one attack and then quickly switching to another, making it difficult for your opponent to defend with counters. Kicks are good against parries. If you see an opponent parrying, you can throw a kick and break their block, opening them up for a free follow-up strike. However, kicks do not interrupt attacks, so try not to get punished. Jabs can be used as a quick short-range strike to gain back initiative after taking a hit. But they can't break a parry. Oh! Learn or die! Each of the basic attacks, slash, overhead and stab, can be held down for higher damage. Heavy attacks are useful against blocking or multiple opponents, as they will continue through an opponent's counter. <laughs> Special attacks are a high risk-reward move that consume a huge amount of stamina and the potential for massive damage. The Brave Charge Into Battle Once running at full speed, you can tackle players to the ground or launch powerful sprint attacks. To avoid incoming attacks, you can dodge left, right, or backward. To stay close to your opponent, try ducking left or right underneath their swing. Any weapon can be thrown, and thrown weapons can be parried. Weapons and many other objects can be picked up off the battlefield and also thrown. I should have listened in training. Stay still! 
I need to show them every type of thing you can toss. No! Yeah! You can see how injured your opponents are by the amount of blood on them, and how close they seem to be to falling over. If you are hurt, patch yourself up with a bandage. Mastering these techniques will make you invincible! Yeah! Woohoo! Victor! Well, almost. Ready, arrows? And loose! Attack! Retreat! Retreat! Oh, glory! Cut their throats! So prepare yourself for the greatest melee combat system ever devised and your chance to die a good death! Hey everyone, I'm Alex Preston, creative director of Heart Machine. You might know us as the team behind Hyperlight Drifter. Today, I'm here to show you the first peek at gameplay for our new title, Solar Ash. Solar Ash is a huge, stylish 3D platformer focused on speed, movement, and fluidity. The game is set inside a giant black hole known as the Ultra Void, which has been consuming everything in its path. You play as Ray, a daring void runner who has decided to venture into this terrifying anomaly as a last ditch effort to save her home world. Ray is extremely agile, able to speed across the world with abilities akin to skating. On the ashen clouds, she can quickly cover great distances in our huge world. At its core, Solar Ash is a game about movement, and Ray has everything she needs to flow through the dangerous and unique world. As you journey to save your planet, you'll find yourself face to face with grotesque and violent creatures. Our combat system is simple, fast, and fluid, built to empower players and encourage flow. As you explore the Ultra Void, enemy encounters will scale to greater and greater sizes. Some of these creatures require speed and precise timing to defeat. Ray will eventually need to face the massive sentinels of this void. Wretched, starved beasts that hold the key to her quest. Solar Ash is Heart Machine's vision of the adventure platformer. The giant spaces, the feel of movement, the flow of combat, and the high-stakes battles atop enormous beasts all come together to bring players something we think is incredibly unique, and more importantly, fun. 
This game is a labor of love for everyone on the Heart Machine team. We're excited to bring Solar Ash to PS5 and PS4 later this year. I sometimes have these strange dreams. They're about these threads called red strings. Don't take your hands off of the red strings. They will twist through time and lead the way for you, Kasane. Kasane Randall, my power is psychokinesis. Pleased to meet you. Quit barking then. It's time to show me some fight. You can go ahead and interpret it however you want. But I don't believe in fate. Now we're talking. Hope you're ready to see how strong I am. Now that I'm here, the tides have turned. As long as we work together, we'll be fine. We can't just abandon people who need our help. Let's do what we can. Good grief, can't you just let me rest? Let's get this over with already. Man, my invisibility power really saved the day. Don't let my graceful knife skills make you fall in love with me. I'm sorry, Yuito. I understand if you hate me. Why are you trying to kill me? Do you really want to kill Yuito? You don't have to help me if you don't want to. Just stay out of my way. We created it? Was it those red strings? Who else is going to save them? This isn't a question about if we can do it. We have to. I don't have a choice. It's only an issue of resolve. The Dragon Sword, another weapon protected by the Dragon Lineage since ancient times. This sword, which is said to have been used by ancient warriors to slay the Black Dragons, is now handed down from generation to generation in the Hayabusa Ninja Clan, the modern descendants of the Dragon Lineage. And now, the Dragon Sword is gripped firmly in the hands of young ninja, Ryu Hayabusa. 